Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play's Dragon's Dogma 2 here outside of our newly purchased home. Thanks to, um, what, what, what was her name? Oh gosh. <laughs> I bought her home and now she means nothing to me. I'm sure I could look it up. In fact, now I want to. Uh, let's do, can I do filter? She was human. <laughs> What was her name? It starts with an M. Mildred! That's what it was, Mildred. Thanks to Mildred, we now have a home. I did just sleep in there. I did just get some more rewards. Thank you to those of you who have been renting out Silverius. I also did some item combination and inventory management. And lo and behold, I have a gift waiting for me on the outside. From Brent, had I not encountered your majesty when I did, I fear this nation would have been led down a false path. My gratitude to you and to whatever power orchestrated our fortuitous meeting knows no bounds. Brent must know that I love the word fortuitous. Seriously, one of my favorites. I believe you are more than worthy of this token of my esteem. And I pray it will be of aid to you on the long road ahead. Steeled virtue. What is that? Not for me. <laughs> Not that I actually thought it would. Ooh, that's pretty good. A blade permitted only to high ranking officers in the Vermundian army. 308 strength, but it is for fighter only. Darn, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I tell you what, I say let's put that in our equipment. Um, I do want to eventually try other vocations other than the one I'm doing now and the ones that I am leaning towards later on. Uh, so having some gear that's at least, you know, mid-level might be pretty handy. All right, very cool. So what are we doing today? Well, I would like to try and focus a bit on the main quest, okay? I think we'll see a lot more of the world if we can actually um, progress the quest and, you know, go and see other lands that the quest is going to bring us to, probably Batal at some point. Uh, Brant, of course, is not waiting for us yet because it has to be evening. So let's go ahead and sit and doze off. I wish there was a way to just doze off until night, but it seems like you just have to keep sleeping numerous times. Although, you know what? I just realized I could probably sleep till half or three quarters through the day and then go listen to the beggar and that'll cut some time off for sure. And here's Brant. All right, Brant, what news do you have? For your majesty's efforts, you have been invited to attend the coronation. To it seem, congratulations are in order. Do I get to wear my dapper clothes? You will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. Yeah, I think I've got you. Dress formally. Well, I just so happen to have, I believe, some rather fitting clothes sitting in my storage. So let's head over. Silverius is so grumpy. I love the grumpy old man that he has become... It makes me truly happy. All right, so we're going to withdraw. Plumed cap. Serpentine circlet. Oh, I can't use that, though. All right, but we do have the courtly tunic. Yes. Let's grab that. And do we have the courtly breeches? Yes, but of course. And let's see if that's going to be enough for dear old dad. And by that, I mean Brent. Oh, wait, go back up here. Great. Oh, enough with the ladder, okay? There we go. All right, phase through the pots. So I guess I need to take off uh, automatically equip opt. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. But no, I'm going to take these off. I'm going to wear those. And I'm going to wear those. I think I probably have to take off my Saurian Scale Cape. Maybe I should take off the daggers. I don't know. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Okay. Well, tell me of the coronation. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, it is best you do so before we depart. But you just made me get dressed. Very well. Is there aught else you would speak? Yeah. Let me know about the other things. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your Majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. 
Many a time has Deezer demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time has the Magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. I have a key? Our laws dictate that your majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? Absolutely. I prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray. Take this mission demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee be cautious, your majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. Okay, meet with Magistrate Waldar. Is there any more information in the quest log itself? Make use of the key to pay him a visit. Right, okay. Must I look like the way that I do? I wish I hated it more. Oh wait, I have the new skill, right? How does it work? Didn't I buy the new skill where I could jump off walls? How, do, how does it work? How, do, how does it work? How do, right? Isn't it just jump and then jump again when you're against a wall? Like, jump! Nope, that's... Hmm. How do I look that up? Okay, core skills. Here we go. Uh, swift step? No. Rather, it's foot pad. Jump towards a wall while making contact with it. Use the left analog stick to determine the direction of the jump and press X. I have it. Can I not use it in town for some reason? That wouldn't make any sense. Oh, should I pay her 50 to see what I should do? You need only make a worthy yeah, let's see what she says. I have seen your path. <laughs> Ventured to Vernworth Castle Jail Tower, the next milestone on my path. My gratitude. Tis lovely to Ooh. See you. Wait a sec. Hold on. Hold on. D have I tried this yet? Have I done the Beggar's Tale and then paid you? you need only make a worthy I have seen your path. And what do you say here? Oh, yeah. I did. Consider thy path with a cautious eye and an open mind, lest the light of revelation forsake thee. Yeah, I've given you way too much money. Tis lovely to see you. You charlatan. Okay. Go back to Cage Magistrate. And let's make our way to the jail. Yeah, I... It's not working. Did you come over here? You sure, Saya? What? Are you leading me to the castle jail? Maybe I should turn my lantern on. There we go. That's that's better. Did we just do a loop, Saya? I am going to be changing out the ponds today as well. No, but you didn't really do anything I wasn't going to do myself. Guard? Hello? I'm just on my way to a dinner date. Go on, Saya. If you must go off on your own, not to be done. Good job. Thanks, thanks for your assistance. All right, so I'm looking for the jail tower. All we can do is wait. You've trained for this. For what? Standing around? What kind of training did that involve? Ooh, is it this well I need to go down? Because I popped down there before, didn't I? Okay. The cow says I have. Grab the ladder. Zip on down. This looks pretty good. Well, 
What was that? Okay, fine mincemeat Roverant. Oh, what did I what did you just drop? Little scrab and rotten scrag a beast gross. Although again, mix that with some horse blood, hey, maybe we got a stew going. And by that I mean lantern oil, but you know. Same difference. How sneaky do I actually need to be here? Wait. Why are you down here? I thought you couldn't follow Seeker's token. One more for the ring. All our efforts weren't for naught. Interesting. I shall have to inform oh, my own master of this. I meant to land. Yes, thank you, Queen. <laughs> or Saya. <laughs> that was um that was foolish on my part, I know. So what what is this building? And have I really come this way for nothing? Hello. And who, pray tell, are you supposed to be? Someone who's gonna walk in your in your house? Hello. Yeah, this isn't it, is it? <laughs> this is not it. Princess Harsbud, though, that's a good one. I feel like I've been here before. Is my lantern starting to flicker? Is that... Is that what's happening because it's low? Near empty. How cool is that? I like that. Okay, so it starts to flicker. It doesn't just go out. That's a uh, nice little detail. This game's just full of nice little details. Alright, I know that this is not where the jail is. But we're here and it's... Fancy, and you have got some mighty fine hair there, bootleg TJ Miller. Right, okay, let's get out. Not really sure how I ended up here other than going, you know, by the rats. Alright, so if I look at my map. Baldwin Estate, Watchhead's Home. Portalry, hmm. Yeah, I feel like I was supposed to go into the actual royal quarter. But that well actually took me out of it. Yeah, because now now we're back in the uh, the royal quarter. I don't doubt it. Now, there's a lot of activity here, though. But you go on patrol, okay. Like, if I approach you... So, you've come. Oh. Brand bad me allow you passage. Every time I think I'm, I'm putting too much thought into it, I, I'm... Oh, no, any time that I don't put enough thought into it, I'm... I'm Shown that obviously there's a more clever way of doing things, and then every time I try and overthink it, there's just someone there saying, Hey, no, no, come this way. But I figure if I look, you know, dignified, no one's gonna bad an eye if some, you know, courtly official going into the jail, right? Problem, problem. Problem. Okay. Walk right past you. Do I need the lantern? It's kind of dark without it, but it's it's manageable oh my gosh where's the magistrate where's the magistrate oh no
Where's the other soldier? Oh my gosh. How do I know where he is? Okay, I'm just too nervous. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna go, go, go. Is it the big one? I have the jail key and I have the makeshift jail key, but this one, this one won't break. Okay. So open, so open, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna turn the lantern on for now. You know, part of me thinks I should go loot those jail cells, but really, what's in a prison cell that I would want? There shouldn't be anything. Also, do I get to keep this afterwards? The answer should be yes. Wait, am I out? Oh, doggone it. I'm outside. Meaning... Nope, oh, guys, stay there. Don't blow my cover. Meaning that one of those... Right you yes, thank you, Silverius. Uh, yeah, so one of those cells is gonna have the magistrate. How do I, how do I get in and talk? Unless, again, I'm just overthinking it, and the guards just won't care, but I can't imagine that's the case. Honestly, I Are you Otto? You no, nope, you're Rance, and you just don't care. What? Okay. No magistrate. No magistrate. I'll just follow them. <laughs> yeah, you go that way. And I'll go this way. Are you the magistrate? There's someone. Have you come to release me from this jail? Who are you? Who, who am I? I'm Julie. Aha. Uh -huh. Then we are presented with three options. Either the law of our world that allows only one arisen has been upended. Or... Jesus arisen is false. Or have you proof that you are arisen, as you say? Show him the dragon scar. No, wait, because the other fake arisen Dagar also has a scar, so that won't work. Um, I can show you my pawns outside. Ah, they say the arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon's claw. By that mark. Would seem it is true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be arisen. He went before the people, insisting that he and not Regent Alphonse was the true arisen, the one fit to lead them as their ruler. And what befell him, you ask? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar. Whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Aye, I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be, hmm? Urge him to escape or urge him to stop talking. Yeah, let's, let's sh 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 just stop saying words. Oh, you've no interest in such things? Why, the law is everything to me. It is life itself. Okay, I didn't mean stop talking because, you know, you're just annoying me, but you need to shut up because there's guards around. I believe I can surmise what you came for. And though I am here on false charges, I have no intention of breaking the law to gain my freedom. Well... What is it? Have you come to hear more tales of false arisens? Escape? But why? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I can devote all my time to my own interests. So you're sitting around reading Grisham novels while the, the sake of Vermont is at stake. And I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demands. 
Tis a paradise to me, this cell. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might rethink the matter. Tell me, does that ring any bells? I suspected as much. Then we are done here. Leave me be. A place to quench one's thirst for knowledge, eh? I'll admit, it is an intriguing prospect. Here? My master told me that the slums hide many secrets. Mayhap we ought to investigate for ourselves. You're not even here. Ah, oh, now I understand. Okay, so Queen's learning. So we need to go to the slums to find a place with tomes? Oh, maybe we'll run into Daphne. It's been a little bit. Hi, friends. Ah, oh, good. You return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. Oh, see? Now that was actually really nice. Oh, this is the slums. My, my, my. Place of many tomes. Mm, a lot of empty bottles. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now and use them when the need. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Sure. Can you tell me where I can find some books? I thought I don't have. Okay. How about um? Sorry, I'll give you food. Ooh, some beefsteak. There you go. Many thanks. Ah, hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. Of course. What is it? You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. He's the one in the middle, if I'm not mistaken. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? Sure. What do we have here? Greenware. Lots of greenware. Okay. But I suppose we best get to it. Well, maybe there's some tomes in here? Sisters. Uh, actually, I did find a little library with a book on emergent vitality, which just makes sense. You, uh, you guys doing okay? Han? Bruno, where have you gone? You're doing fine. Really, now. You mustn't shirk your duty. Medicine? Medicine! 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 Now. Now! now. I feel like I could probably give you medicine, but didn't get the option there. What is all this? Oh, I am stealing from a hospital. This is... This is wrong. Yes, I'm still going to do it. I'm just, you know, I am aware of the wrongdoings. I am a thief, after all. At some point, I have to do a little role-playing, right? Okay, no Malcolm yet. Oops. Hmm. Okay, so if he's in here, he's hiding really well, and there's probably probably some little alcove that is, you know, completely hidden from sight. Is Malcolm all right? Amy, where does he like to hide? We're supposed to go exploring together. But I overslept, and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. And where are the vaults? A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Hmm, the vaults. 
So we got to be systematic about this. Let's follow the left wall. Okay, so that means we're going to keep the wall on my left shoulder. Just look around for anything that looks... Wait. The Gracious Hands vaults. What? I just accidentally triggered the location name. No false walls here, but it's it's over on this side somewhere. That's interesting. Anything on the floor? No. All right, let's keep going. Remember, we're just going to follow the left wall, even when we go around a corner. Somehow missed 300 gold. Locked, you say? Did I not just go through there, though? True faith must come from the spirit, not the mind. Sure feels like I was just in there. All right, keep following the left. But we're back here. Amy. I mean, I could go talk to the owner and sit. How about you? Do you know where the vaults are? That's a no. That's That was a very clear no. All right, real quick. Let's step outside. About what? Daphne. What to do? What to do? Hoy arisen. Say, have you heard about the state of the river? Oh, I'm kind of on a couple other things right now, Daphne. Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That's a problem for the church, as it draws from the river to make holy water. The water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it. Sounds like a scam, but go on. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. Oh, she is such either a good liar or just such a poor, naive little girl. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help, too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Okay, well, now I... We seek gold ore. Though it is sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. I do, I do have some gold ore, I believe. Let me alone. I'm not out here for fun, you know. All right. Let's let's sneak around the gracious hands carefully. Wait a second. Can I get up under the scaffolding? And can I get on the roof? And does that help me in any way shape or form? It would appear it does not. Okay, drop back down. So I chance a rear Materials entrance. Such as this can be combined to craft things. <laughs> Why would you? Sure we'll find a purpose for Why do you have to say it like that? Okay. It's here then. I'm gonna try talking to everyone. This is a place of prayer. I didn't say anything. I spend my days in quiet. A moment's prayer can do... Might I beg but a moment of... Amy. Hey, sir. Well, where, is, where are the vaults? I haven't said anything. Hmm. Fireplace puzzle by chance? Nope. I'm not looking up the solution to this one. I'm figuring this out. And I think it has something to do with this room. On the bed? Hmm. 
Look, this corner is the vaults. Absolutely nothing is standing out, though. Hmm. Okay, does the quest say anything different? No. Ask around and see if anyone knows where he might have gone. Well, the thing is, I know where he's gone. I just don't know what to do about it. Also, I can't get in there anymore. Yeah, I know. You, you're not doing well. No, put them away. Not time for violence yet. Try it. Oh, wait. I want to try my move now. Let's try that again. Isn't it about time we had ourselves a meal? Okay. So that did work. I, I think I just have to really, really plant it in order for it to work. Go down into the vaults. Why is that door locked all of a sudden? Do you suppose it's just another situation where there's just a hole in the ground? That I'm missing, or you look suspicious. What are you doing, Malcolm? <gasps> All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. I suppose we'll picking through rubble. Can I move these baskets? No. Report back to Kendrick. Oh, okay. Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mentioned rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. Okay, let's... Just right here? I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? Obviously he could have. Do you, have you met a child? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. That's a terrible sound. Or you just completely opened that up. <laughs> you are a bit stronger than you look. Danger might lurk anywhere. Where every shadow. Yeah, let's get our daggers on out. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise. Okay, so we're gonna have to oh, watch the watch the mice. Lots of them. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that jump, yeah? I understand your grace that you might not be able to do that. Lucky us. That's worth taking. <laughs> the ripened ripened apple and rotten harsbud. You are right. That's quite the shiny coming up. Seems your like a trap. A jest. All that effort for so little gain. It's a dismal feeling to be disappointed so utterly. Malcolm. Thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick, you'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. I didn't actually think this quest was going to tie in, but this is brilliant. Truly, perhaps we ought to take a look. Not lose sight of our guide. I'm not trying to kill you, sir. I'm just trying to kill the rats. Oh, 
a ring of conserve. I didn't think I could actually get gear out of those chests, but what is that? Oh, boost magic defense. Excellent. There we go. All right, Malcolm, following you. Wait, what are you all killing? That's more XP. Jeepers, all right. That was a lot of, uh, a lot of explosions for what I assumed were just <laughs> rats. Oh, we have spiders now. Seeker's token. Oh, that's enough for a ring. Excellent. Oh, I hope you weren't expecting mercy. Over here. Heavens above. Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? What about one specific person? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? Tis quite the hey, got some gold, got some panacea. I'm sure I'd be seeing stars were I the scholarly sort. There's no great shock to me. So very that was such a snotty thing to say. All right, well, before we return to the magistrate, what what else do we have? Amal Euphony? Invokes Ice Boon. Excellent. That's so good to have. A historic account, chapter four. Tensions twixt Vermund and Batal reached their peak 40 years ago, when both nations were devastated by a prolonged bout of bad weather that resulted in successive crop failures. Hard times turned the starving populaces against one another, eventually culminating in a desperate clash of several hundred soldiers, though it produced no victors, resulting in only more meaningless deaths. Upon the site of this battle now stands a cenotaph in memory of the fallen. I wonder if we can actually find that cenotaph. Oh, now we're just reading out of order. Chapter 3. In spite of these differences, should... Okay, hold on. Can I find one in two? Like, here, without searching the rest of the world? Because I will read them in order, if possible. Eight hundred and twenty gold. Just such a... There are innumerable corners where an enemy might consume... Guys, they're just mice. Your voice low, lest my heart leap from my throat. Well, now we know what Silverius is afraid of. Have we found one of these before? Can I actually see these texts? So if I go into history... Okay, yeah, so I have found two and four. I haven't found one. But two, we read this before. That's right. Okay. In Vermont, they are deemed faithful attendants of the Sovereign, while in Batal, they are viewed as harbingers of misfortune. In spite of these differences, the two nations have managed to coexist largely peacefully, perhaps realizing the futility of an all-out war between two neighbors. Though there have been several examples of one side instigating an invasion, always some greater power has intervened before the balance could be tipped too far in the favor of either nation preventing the fires of war from escalating into inferno and then it goes into the crop failure and uh, subsequent starvation this place is amazing on you might find some all right there's still more to the vaults i think books ne'er seem to end who could so perhaps we do a little bit more 
investigating ourselves down in the vaults. And again, just kind of using the trick where we pick a wall. And just see. Okay. Complete, uh, complete destruction of ancient artifacts. Not bats! Never bats! There we go. Well, this goes down pretty far. Okay, some branches, I guess, is good. Where are my friends and what are they doing? Wow, just... Oh, why do we have an explosive barrel? I don't know. Can I blow that up? Is this going to kill me? Can't blow that up. All right. Is this where I would have fallen if I didn't make the jump? I think it is, isn't it? That is. Okay, so let's let's go back down just to make sure that we're being thorough. I don't think there's anything else. Should we encounter trouble, we would be at a disadvantage. Let us conclude our business and be quit of this place. There is naught to be gained from lingering. Yeah, it seems that you're right. Okay, never mind. So we're done here. Let's go back to the magistrate and tell him that we found... That's actually really cool, though. Again, I did not think... I really didn't believe that we were going to find the, the tomes down here. I was just being silly. Oop, other way. Now I feel a fool. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. The ponds in Dragon Song with two are just, just so much better than they were. They're they're amazing now. They still, you know, talk a lot. But you know, as someone who also talks a lot, I get it. Sometimes you just need to let your voice be heard. What was that? Right. I do. There's no in here, is there? There's the tavern, but not an inn. Just thinking, maybe I want to go back and go get the gold pieces? Yeah, I do. I don't know. I got a soft spot for Daphne. I feel like she's being used. I really hope that I'm not proven wrong and that she's just complicit in all of this, but... Guess we'll find out. I'm a trusting person. It's what I do. There's a ladder here. After you, arisen. Also, you know what? Real quick, how many how many rift crystals do I have now? Interested in my Possibly. Way? How many? I have 3500. Okay. I could buy some glasses. Is that really, I mean, all this is for? Oh, don't buy the simple rift. Ambivalent. Oh, so ambivalent. This is just like a grab bag. It could be anything. Okay. Uh, Art of Metamorphosis to change the appearance of the pond. I'm not going to do that because... Oh, no, their own appearance or the appearance. Oh, so I could buy one of these. But you know what? I got a lot of comments saying that, you know, Julie's mouth isn't as off-putting as possible. Although I did get... And this is not a judgment. It was actually a really, really well-written message. I just haven't responded to it yet. So if you're listening to this, I'm sorry. I got a Twitter message that actually broke down um, Julie's basically facial and skull structure and went into a lot of detail, which was pretty interesting to read. Okay, let's not buy anything right now. Maybe eventually. Honestly, I kind of hope that they add more items to that shop. All right, so we are going to 
journey. First off, we will depart. When did I get a scale jet? Oh, right, because that's what I should be wearing. <laughs> Get rid of all these tomes. Okay, and then withdraw. Yeah, look at that. I have six of them. The foremost hospitality. You know where to find me. I sure do. And down into the slums. Actually, I'm really terrible at finding out where the slums. Other way to the east. My sense of direction is impressive, I know. Oh, Daphne. Ugh. Who's telling her that the the river's so corrupted we need gold? Come on. What kind of alchemical nonsense is this? Yes. Wow. This will be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again? Don't be money. Just one more time. Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well... The grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? Oh, just medicine? Oh, thank I have a feeling I either have it on me or can make it. I'll talk to the priests in the meantime. See if there's anything useful I can do. Now, we've need of medicine. We can purchase it at shops or make some ourselves by combining the ingredients. All right, that's fine, but what... By your leave. What kind of medicine? The blighted debilitation. Okay, so I need to find out what cures blight... But they're not going to tell me what that is. That's okay. I just don't really have anything on me. I mean, Panacea does. Waking is obviously for sleep, so it'll be a strap is just health. What if I talk to you again? Boy, arisen. Have you brought any medicine with you? Oh, yes. You'll take the Panacea, but I need five. Uh, so we... Yeah, we're going to cancel this. I could do Panacea. But let's run back to our storage. I probably have whatever it is in my storage. I have so many medicines, I've just been dumping a ton in there. So I would not be surprised. There we go. That's the fastest way to the inn. You will soon forget okay, organize, withdraw. And let's see what all these things do. So parching. Aha, detoxifying. I have four of them. How many more pan... I have eight panaceas. Okay, so that's okay. So we'll do... How do I make that? What if I do... Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. I was trying to see if I could make any more, but we'll take all four of them. I am also going to go into combine and just see, can I make this? Not with greenware-ish. Oh, detoxifying is with uh, syrupwort and uh, pittywort. That's perfect. So then I can actually deposit those two panaceas and not accidentally use them. Perfect. Much obliged. See, this is just one of those little things that I appreciate that they just don't outright tell you what you need to get. No, you need to get things to cure blight because that's what the citizens are being afflicted with. 
And, you know, we'll kind of just let you figure out the best way to go about that. Yeah, I like this. I like this. And this is another episode where not a whole lot of action is taking place other than, you know, a little bit of rad and uh, bad killing. Still, really, really enjoying this game. How do is there any way to just No, that's silly. This should be an autofill. Now that's just splendid. Oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. Why don't we go and investigate the river? It's a goodly deed we've done. Eight. Golden Trove Beetle, okay. Look, she didn't have much. She gave me a bug and a hundred gill. That was really nice, though. You are correct. Yeah. That was good. All right, let's use that beetle. Excellent, and it's time. I think we can probably get this done, right? Where is the, the prison? That's up this way. Who's the dude just chilling up on the cliff? Time was, you scarce saw any beastrums here in Vernworth, but that's changed in recent years. You'd think that'd be on account of immigration, but not so. See, a child born of both races always favors the beastrum. At least I've never beheld a human with a beastrum parent. Well, I suppose it might be possible, but tis unheard of. Okay, we're just talking about simple genetics and recessive versus dominant. End up with more beastrums than they've got all in battle. Okay. I don't think I'm going to touch that one. <laughs> I'm going to leave that comment alone. He is uh, pretty set in his ways, it would seem. Uh, do you know how long you'll be? I, I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stars to recuperate my strength. Putrid gold tooth. I suppose all we can do is wait. Well, this is actually a different way out. 1700 gold just chilling in the sewers is pretty nice. Interesting. Okay. But it, it looks like I should be able to get in, right? Passageway on the... Oh, yeah, right here. Awesome. It's a... Oh, and it goes into one of the cells. How great is that? Now I just look like a prisoner. Of course, I just have to... Uh... Okay, we don't do it now. We wait. Oh, shoot. I thought maybe they would just mistake me for a prisoner. I'd hasten home were this not my duty. Ready? Open the door. Quickly now. Careful. This one right here, right? Okay, it's back to locked again, which makes sense. I found books. I found books. I found books. Well, have you found some place I might sate my? So many in the lighting. Hmm. I hope you like. I hope you like bright, unfiltered sunlight. Oh, to think such a place existed. How oh, very curious. Guide me outside then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. Okay. So let's let's go. Best quality of soldiers now. Like it or not, 
Ready? Ready? Come on now. Are you still with me? Magistrate? Goodness gracious. Saunter a bit more. Oh, you and Silverius are going to get along so well. Still love these weapons. There he is. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. I this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are Arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. Actually, I really like the idea of him giving me information as he learns by reading. Excellent. All right. Well, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty productive. So fast, Always. Keep you in my sights, Arisen. Sounds like a personal problem. Try to keep up. Well, this way. Now, I am curious about the other quests. Will I need to worry about getting those done before I do this next step? It seems like probably, but let's go ahead. Let's talk to Brant, and then we're going to call it apart there. Welcome. There is much we ought to say to. <laughs> if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen, it seems Magistrate Wardor has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? Oh, please let me keep it. I thank you. Pray, take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts. Another seven grand and a fairy stone. Yes, very good. All right, what's next? On your list of chores. Much we ought to tend to. If we are to strength Ah, yes. Regarding your pursuer from some days past, as we suspected, he was indeed an agent from Batal. When he learnt of your Majesty's escape, he began inquiring after your movements. Tis a glad thing we captured him before matters escalated. As to how he learned your Majesty's location with such ease. I intend to extract the answers from him anon. I shall be sure to inform you when I do. Pray, take this. Tis the least I can offer for your majesty's assistance. Another four grand, all right. To monitor you all the way over in Batal. I suppose that means you're famous, master. That completes another quest. We must inform Captain Brant at once. We must inform Captain Brant, but of what? There is much we ought to tend to. If we are what about the masquerade? For some time now, it was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign that one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, 
You will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Oh, is it a good mask? Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Am I not in that suitable raiment? Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and it would be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. I think I've already got that. And thanks to you, I'll blend right in. And that is going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. And next time we'll do a little bit of Masquerade Deception. There's my good friend Sven. The beggar is no longer here. And one day we're going to figure out how he's making his money. But all in due time. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying half as much as I am enjoying playing. And I will see you uh, next time. That's my fanciest goodbye.